वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज द वुड बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ लोड ऑफ ट्वेल्व किलो न्यूटन इफ ग्रेन ऑफ वुड इन द बीम एट पॉइंट ए मेक्स एन एंगल ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री विद द हॉरिजेंटल एज शोन डिटरमाइन द नॉर्मल एंड शेयर स्ट्रेस दैट एक्ट पर पेंडिकुलर एंड पैरल टू द ग्रेन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम वेयर ट्वेल्व किलो न्यूटन लोड इज अप्लाइड एंड दिस ग्रेन ऑफ दिस वुड मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री with the horizontal so what you have to find you have to find the normal stress act that acts perpendicular to the surface and the shear stress that um, acts parallel to this surface so let's start with the solution so first step is that we will find the uh, normal stress and shear stress at point a for that if you remove this support at this point so there will be reaction force let this is r1 and if you remove this pin support at this point so you will be having a reaction which is r2 so we'll find this r1 and r2 by using equation of equilibrium so first equi equation of equilibrium is sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point 1 first moment is 12 into perpendicular distance is 3 meter and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write 12 into 3 and that is negative the second moment that is produced by r2 which is r2 into perpendicular distance is this which is 7 and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write plus 7 into r2 and their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get 7 r2 is equal to 36 and you will get r2 is equal to uh, 5.14 5.14 5 kN now you will find r1 by using another equation of equilibrium and that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and force support is taken as positive so r1 plus r2 minus 12 is equal to 0 so r1 is not known so r1 plus r2 is 5.14 minus 12 is equal to 0 so from here you will get r1 which is equal to 12 minus 5.14 and that is 6.86 kilo newton now you have r1 and r2 so we need the shear stress and um, moment at point a because we know that moment uh, st uh, bending stress is equal to m into minus m into y a divide by i so we need moment so what we will do is that we will cut the beam at a distance of 2 and we will draw the free body diagram so this is the beam at this point we have ra which is 6.86 kN and this distance is 2 meter so when you cut the beam you will having a shear force which is v and you will having external moment which is m so we will find this moment m by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about let this is point 1 about point 1 our point o take it as point o is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so you can see that moment about this point o is 6.86 into 2 this is producing clockwise moment so 6.86 multiply by 2 and that will be negative plus this external moment m is equal to 0 so from here this moment will be equal to uh, 13.714 13. 4 and the unit will be kilo newton into meter and what about this shear force so shear force will be equal to 6.86 kilo newton at this distance of 2 meter now you have moment and shear force as well so what we will do is that 
uh, we will uh, use the equation sigma a is equal to minus m into y a divided by i so we'll find find i the cross section of the beam is given as this is a rectangular so i for rectangular is equal to 1 over 12 b h cube clear so b is 200 millimeter so in meter it will be 1 over 12 b in meter will be 0 0.2 and height is 300 millimeter so in meter it is 0 0.3 and it will be q so when you calculate this i you will get 0 0.45 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter power 4 so this is the value of second moment of inertia of this rectangular beam and what if i draw the rectangular cross section of this beam so you can see this is the 300 millimeter and this is 200 millimeter so neutral axis will lie at the mid of this so this is your neutral axis and it is given that uh, focus on this 70 a point is 75 millimeter distance from this side 75 millimeter so this distance is 150 because 300 divided by 2 is 150 millimeter so this remaining distance will be also 75 because 75 plus 75 will be uh, 150. So why, what is y a? So why this is point a. So y a is, uh, this is y a. So y a will be equal to minus 75 millimeter, which is 0 0.075 meter. So you have this y a, you have i, you have m. So you can just put it in this formula. Sigma a will be equal to minus 13.714. It is in kilo newton into meter. So we will convert it to newton into meter. So that's why I'm multiplying 10 to the power 3. Multiply by y, which is minus 0 0.075 meter divide by i which is 0 0.45 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter power 4 so when you calculate it you will get sigma a will be equal to 2.285 into 10 raised to power 6 so i will just write 2.285 mega pascal since it is positive value so means stress this stress is tension the point a is in tension now we will find the shear stress at point a so we know that shearing stress at point a is equal to v into q a divided by i into t so we have v at point a we have i we have thickness which is 200 millimeter we do not have q a so q a is equal to y dash bar into a dash so what is y dash bar into uh, what is y dash and what is a dash so this is the point a there so this is the a dash this will be a dash so a dash will be equal to 200 millimeter a dash will be equal to 200 millimeter so 200 millimeter in meter is 0 0.2 and this is 75 height so 75 in meter is 0 0.075 and what is y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section so it is 75 plus 75 divided by 2 which is equal to 112.5 so in meter it is 0 0.1125 so when you calculate it you will get you will get q a will be equal to 1.6875 into 10 raised to power minus 3 cubic meter now put it in this formula so i will put it ta a will be equal to v which is 6.86 kilonewton so 6.86 into 10 raised to power 3 
multiply by QA which is 1.6875 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by I and the I is 0 0.45 into 10 to the power minus 3 and thickness is 200 millimeters so in, in meter it is 0 0.2 so when you solve this you will get the sharing stress at point A is 0 0.1286 mega pascal since you can see this lies below the neutral axis so, so sharing stress here will be taken as negative so if i draw it on a plane state of stress or general state of stress at four point a so your sigma x is sigma x this is your x sigma x is 2.285 mega pascal there is no vertical component so it will be zero and sharing stress will be negative this is your 0 0.1286 sharing stress So what is what we conclude from it? So we get sigma x is equal to 2.2857 mega pascal. You do not have sigma y. Sigma y is equal to zero, and tau of x y is minus 0 0.1286. That is why it is negative because it is below the neutral axis. Now what we have been asked is that these grains are at 25 degree inclined so if i draw it as like this uh, this is the grain oriented at this angle 25 degree so this is your original x-axis and this is your y-axis y-coordinate so what if you can see this is 25 so this will be also 25 so what if we we are interested to find out the normal stress on this plane clear so x will be rotated to this new angle this this is also this is let x so x is rotated a new uh, coordinate which is x dash and y dash will be parallel to this surface so this angle will be equal to this is the angle through which we eat rotate so 25 plus 90 is 115 i will show you this angle is 25 and this is 90 so this will be 115 so we will be able to find out the normal stress on perpendicular to this and parallel shear stress parallel to this so theta is equal to 115 degree so we know that uh, by equation of stress transformation sigma x dash normal stress on transform axis is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta plus tau of x y into sine of 2 theta so just put the value sigma x dash is equal to sigma x is 2.2857 plus 0 divided by 2 plus 2.2857 divided by 2 minus 0 into cos of theta is 2 115 so 2 theta is equal to 100 230 degree cos of 230 degree plus tau of xy which is minus 0 0.1286 into sine of 230 degree so when you calculate it you will get sigma x dash will be equal to 0 0.507 mega pascal now what about sharing stress transform sharing stress so tau of x dash y dash will be equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta 
प्लस टॉ ऑफ एक्स वाई कॉज ऑफ टू थीटा सो जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू माइनस टू पॉइंट टू एट फाइव सेवन माइनस जीरो डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू साइन ऑफ टू थर्टी डिग्री प्लस टॉ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन टू एट सिक्स इंटू कॉज ऑफ टू थर्टी डिग्री दैट इज इक्वल टू टॉ ऑफ एक्स डैश वाई डैश नाउ वेन यू सॉल्व दिस टॉ ऑफ एक्स डैश वाई डैश यू विल गेट द वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव एट मेगा पासकल सो दीज आर द these two are the answer now we will represent them on this element so i will choose a black color so what this sigma x is you can see positive this value is positive so plain state of stress on this surface this sigma x dash will be equal to 0.58007 and sharing stress is uh, this will be in this direction this is tau of x dash y dash which is 0.985 mega pascal and this sigma x dash is 0.507 mega pascal and that was all about this problem 9-23 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching